last week, GitHub launched their command line interface, which was in beta for a while, into version 1.0. I'm going to try using GitHub CLI to create a repository from the CLI and also create issues and pull requests, etc. using the CLI. If you have already used the GitHub CLI, do let me know your views on the usage and also the developer productivity. If you have not used the GitHub CLI, do try it out along with me. I'll try to show you how you can use the GitHub CLI. With that, let's get started. You can go to the GitHub CLI page using cli.github.com. For me, it just shows the default um, installation command as brew install gh because of the um, operating system. If you're on Windows, I'm pretty sure it will show download for Windows for you. So in order to install the GitHub CLI, I'm going to go to the terminal and I can do brew install gh. So since I already have GitHub CLI installed, brew is going to tell me that it's already present and then it's just going to show that it's there. And also you can get the version right here. So you can see that the GitHub CLI version is 1.0.0, which I already have here. I'm currently present in the folder where I have all my codes checked out. Generally, I use this particular folder to check out code and then play around with it. So I have so many projects there. Right now, I'm going to create a new project. So most of the time, what happens is when we are in the terminal, we try to use as much commands as possible. And most of the time, when you want to create a new repository, we create the project here and then we have to go to the GitHub page and then create it. That's what I do after every video. So I create the project, keep it inside this folder and also I manually go to the page and then create a GitHub repository. Instead of doing that, I can directly use the GitHub CLI to do those steps. For example, I can directly do GitHub GH and then repo and then create. So I can create using this command. For example, if I want to create a test repo, I can do this. But before doing all these, I need to authenticate my GitHub command line interface with my login. So how can I do that? I can do that using the GitHub auth command. I can do GitHub auth login. And the moment I hit GitHub auth login, I'm just asked if I want to connect to github.com or GitHub enterprise. If you're using GitHub enterprise in your organization and if you're using it very actively, you can use that. I'm going to use the github.com. Once I selected github.com, it will ask me if I want to re-authenticate because since I already had my username and password present, so it's asking me, do I want to re-authenticate? So here I'm going to say N, but for you, it will ask you your username and also it will ask you whether you want to authenticate using browser or do you want to authenticate using CLI? In fact, I can show you that if I say why. So see this, it's asking me, do I need to log in with the browser or can I paste the authentication token? So I'm not going to use the token. Instead, I'm going to use the browser to authenticate. So I can just say log in with my browser and it's just asking me to copy this one time password or one time code. So in the browser, I will have to navigate and then enter this particular one time code. So it says that please enter to open the github.com. So I have copied the code. Now I can enter and you can see that I just need to paste that code and then I just say continue. The moment I say continue, it asks me to provide information. For example, GitHub CLI is a separate app. It's asking me to provide information and allow it to modify and do all those kind of stuff. So I'm just going to say authorize. I need to enter my password. So I'll just enter it and I'm just set. So let me go back to the terminal. So it says that authentication is complete. Please enter to continue. So I just say yes. I can choose either HTTPS or SSH. I'm going to use HTTPS to make things simple. So that's it. I'm just logged into my username. So moving to web is my username in GitHub. So it's logged into that. Now to create a new repository, I can do gh create repo. Sorry, repo create. So I can do a repo create and then I can provide my organization. So if I don't want to create it under tech primers, I can directly give test hyphen repo. But uh, since I want to create it in my organization, I want to provide it as tech primer slash tech test hyphen repo. So this will create a new repository inside the tech primers org. So instead of doing a test repo, I'm just going to say as GitHub CLI example. So you can go to this particular repo and then look at all the steps, whatever I'm going to show you now, I will document all these in this particular repo once I record this video. So by the time you watch this particular video, this particular repo should be active and you can go to the link from the description. So the moment I click on enter, 
it's asking me for the visibility i'm going to provide public because i want you guys also to use it i'll just say yes for creating it and also it'll ask me to provide the folder name whether i want to create that particular project or not so i'll say yes for that as well now i can go to the github hyphen cli example folder and i can see that this particular folder is already checked out see this this is a github repository and also this is a git project with main as the branch so my branch name is main because i have configured my default branch name as main so let me go to the github uh, page to confirm that uh, this particular repo has been created so i'll just go to github.com slash tech primers and i can see that this was created 36 seconds ago so we are good here so cli is doing its job now i want to add a file so i'll just add one particular file i'll just say readme So I'm just adding one particular file, which is the readme file. I'll use git to add this, sorry. I'm going to commit this as well, saying it's a new file. And also I'll push this into the root main branch. So it's going to ask me for the credential. If you have configured um, your SSO in your GitHub, in your laptop, it won't ask. I have not configured it so it's just asking so i've entered my username and password once if this is done my code should be pushed so let me go back to the repo and this time i should see a new file called readme yeah it just got pushed cool so that's good now the next command what i want to do is gh repo and then you can do a view so the moment you give a view it will show you how the repo looks like in the github page so from the CLI, you can literally see what is there in your readme page. If there's a readme, it just shows what is the content of the readme. For example, our readme has GitHub CLI example. So that's that. So I'm just coming out of that particular view. You can also set and uh, get configurations using the gh config command. You can just do a help. If you don't know any command, you can directly do gh help. This will show you what are the different commands. For example, there is a gh issue, there is a repo, PR and things like that, right? So this is how you can identify. So we did already the auth, right? And we also saw what is config. Now let's try using an issue. So I'm going to create a new issue so that I can work on a new feature. I'll just say issue and then create. So I'm just saying create a new issue. Um, for example, I'm going to give a title as uh, create a new feature. That's the title for me. If I want to have a body, I can just do that, but I'll skip that particular body part. Right now, I don't want to show with a nano editor, but uh, I'm just creating a new issue here. The next step is, do I want to continue in the browser or do I need to add more information or I can just create it with this. I'm just going to say create it with this. Now, this creates a new issue one, right? And the URL is also mentioned here. Let's verify this in the UI. So if I see here, issues doesn't have anything right now. And you can notice that a new issue got created in the github page from the cli so i have created a new issue now i want to create a new branch right what we generally do is we do a checkout um, hyphen b and the new branch right i have a new branch i'm going to call this as feature ha slash since this is the issue one i'm just going to call this as feature hyphen one so that's my feature branch and I have switched to this particular branch. Now I want to modify the readme file. So I'll just modify this readme file just for the sake of it. Added a new feature. So once I'm done with the modification, we generally do commit this file, right? Again, I'll just say update modified readme file. So that's it. I have committed this change. Now I need to push it. I'll just set my upstream as feature hyphen one because that's my branch name. So the local branch is called feature one. And also I'm going to use my remote branch to be called as feature one. And this is going to ask again for me. But like I said, if you have the SSO enabled, it won't ask you again. So my git push is successful. Let's go and verify that from the 
github page here so we have the main branch and you can notice that there is a feature one branch here so if i go to the feature one branch it should have a new feature added here so generally what we do we just click on this compare and create a pull request you don't have to do that from the ui you can now directly use everything from the cli so notice that how efficiently i'm trying to create stuff from the cli directly rather than going to the ui now i can also do gh issue and then list so gh issue list will show all the issues which are present in this particular repo so it's saying that there's only one open issue right now i can create more issues and i can also start editing and closing issues from here so that's that uh, the next thing is i want to create a pull request now that i'm done with the uh, changes i want to create a pull request so you can do gh pr and create so if i do hyphen hyphen fill it will automatically fill the default values but i want to create the title myself right so i'm going to say gh pr create the moment i do gh pr create it's asking me for the title so i'll just say added um, new feature for issue one so i can also add the body i'm not going to add it and finally i can submit it from the cli directly the moment i click on submit there is a pull request which got raised and you can see that the pull request uh, number is two so let me go back to the uh, ui here and see that there is a new pull request which got opened just 10 seconds ago from the cli we got that created and this is the new pull request from the feature branch to the main branch so if you notice here we are currently in the feature branch and we are raising pull request to the default branch which is main in my case so everything looks good right now all right let me come back to the cli you can also try doing gh pr list which will show all the pending pull requests which are present you can also do gh pr merge you can do gh pr merge to merge the pull request which is currently there so it's asking me what merge me me method would you like to use rebase and quash i'm just saying create a merge commit right i want it to be a new commit and also i want to delete that branch locally i'm just going to say yes so github cli will also take care of doing that notice that it has merged my pull request number two and also it deleted the branch from my local and see that my branch got flipped here so by default i have a command to display what is my branch name from this particular setting so i can see that it's already flipped to the main branch now let me go back to the ui here and let's see see that it's already merged right i mean it just got closed see that the pull request got merged into the master now if i go to the master let me go to the master or the main let me go to the main and i can see that the new feature got added so this is how I can use the CLI now to create issues, create pull requests, create repos, merge pull requests and things like that. I can also look at other pull requests from the CLI using the list feature. There are also more commands similar to these. If you can go to the, if you go to the UI cli.github.com and click on this manual, this is going to provide all the list of commands which can be done from the GitHub CLI. I just showed you a couple of them which I commonly use you can also use different commands for example there is something called status it just shows what is the status of your PR right right now I don't uh, have that here but if you do a github PR status then you can see the list of checkpoints it will show whether all the checkpoints got passed on things like that I can in fact show you if there is one let me check if there is any pending pull request uh, unfortunately there is no pending pull request if there was any pending pull request for this repo i would have shown you but uh, yeah generally people raise it for contributing to open source project that's just a default project where you can so if you have not contributed to github projects do check out my video on how to contribute to github or open source projects it will be pretty helpful for you to kickstart your github understanding i hope you found this particular video interesting do check out cli.github.com Try it out and let me know if you find that productive. All the commands I showed you will be present in this particular repo, whatever I just created. I will add all the commands, whatever I showed you in this particular readme here. As always, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.